Hello guys, welcome back to the Diamond Pool League. And today we've got a nice little 10 ball drill. Uh, as you can see, 10 balls on the table. We're gonna go in rotation. It looks very easy, right? But it's not. It's a lot trickier than what it looks. Uh, but it's a really good fun drill. And like most of my drills, uh, it's not about making the tough shots. It's about controlling the cue ball. And this one's no exception. So I placed the one through to four over the pocket uh, against against the jaws so they're quite deep in there I put it as deep as I possibly can but you'll see on the diagram so you're gonna go uh, so you're thinking that the first four shots are gonna be very easy but uh, trust me uh, a lot of you is gonna get caught out so the rules are for the guys under rating of 500 you can start with cue ball in hand uh, go in rotation but uh, the cue ball must contact at least one rail after contact and you can't bump another ball <clears throat> for the guys over 500 the cue ball must contact two rails after making it shut you can't bump another ball and the cue ball uh, you will start with a cue ball in the center of the table so it's a really nice little drill I'll uh, talk you through what I'm going to do uh, and, uh, and we uh, see how we do Right guys, let's give it a go. So, uh, for the guys over 500, start with the cue ball on the centre of the table. Uh, I'm pretty sure the last time I looked I was just about over 500, uh, but it might have changed since. Uh, for the guys under 500, you start with the white ball in hand, but if you want to start from here, that's fine also. Uh, but remember, this drill's a lot tougher than what it looks, so let's give it a go. So the first shot here, so all the first four balls are, are quite deep in the pocket on the point, so it makes it so it so it makes these shots a lot tricky. I see a lot of people just making the aiming on the right hand side of the one ball here, but the problem with that is that the uh, white is going to hit the opposite point of the pocket, which you don't want to do that. So I'm just going to play it real first. So I'm I'm just aiming just just before the point of the pocket, and make sure that I get a good contact on the one ball. Well, now I would have liked the white ball further this rail because then it just makes the shot a lot easier. So I'm going to play the same shot again here, rail first, just maybe like a, an inch before that point. Just a touch of uh, left there. Make sure I get that second rail. So the same shot again here. For you guys under 500, you can just play this uh, fin. And just come here with a white ball because you only need to hit one rail. By that, I get the cue ball on this rail. I feel like because this is a key shot to the drill now. I'm getting good shape on the five, so I, I want to be somewhere around here. Mm -hmm. I landed it on the rail. It would have been perfect just to make it a come round it's just a little bit further out but I think I can still play that shot so I'm going to hit the far direct just a touch of right there just, just below the centre of the cue ball and I've come a lot further up than what I would have liked but it's not too bad so here I'm just going to take my medicine and try and get the cue ball somewhere around here because the lower I come the more difficult it's going to be to get back up table for the seven so you, want to, you always want to try and leave a natural angle so this shot here, just try, try not to overpower the ball, just going to play it with a touch of left and just hopefully the cue ball does all the work. Looks pretty good. Yeah, couldn't really put that much bit with my hand. So this, just a touch of right, I am the cue ball, one, two rails and I'm going to try it at the third rail. Just because I've left quite a bigger angle here. Uh, so if I just try and hold it and come here, like one, two, and I get really close to this top rail, that's going to be no good. So I definitely need a, an angle on the seven ball here. Yeah, need that angle. That's why I've used that third rail. Even though it's not great, it's better than no angle. So I've got to top this in. Just missed the side pocket and coming here for the height. Uh, just about okay, I think. But I'm going to make this a little bit harder than I, I, I would like, just to force it a little bit wider. Yeah, it's a bit 
do I did that. We'll just force it a little bit, just with a little bit, just a little bit more uh, right spin than what I, I, I would normally. So here, just touch your left. Let the cue ball to get up here. And remember, I've got it two rails, so it's not great this. If I just needed one rail like you guys under 500, it'd be perfect. But I've got a slight angle, but not one what's easy to get a second rail here. So the option is to top it, spin it, and come this way, but believe in a tricky 10. Or I could maybe try and force, force punch it down table or draw it. But then there's a danger of kissing that 10 ball. So I'm just going to follow quite a good tip of right here. do with her. Well again with, with, with this shot just commit to the shot <clears throat> pick your corner and stay down on the shot. Wasn't as clean as what I would like but I'll take it but uh, really good drill actually uh, very enjoyable drill very easy to set up uh, but could be, but I can see it being very frustrating for a lot of you also. But again, it's all about learning more about the cue ball, being more creative, uh, and it's a good pattern drill, uh, but also very good for your cue ball, and that's what it's all about. So good luck giving it a go, guys, and we'll see you next time.